Asia accounts for almost half of the world's energy demand. It's now also the highest emitting region. But that's half the story. Asia is taking the lead on many of the technologies that we know that we will need in order to, to have a low emissions or net zero e emissions uh, energy system. What does the future hold for Asia as it races to decarbonize? In the Philippines, ASIN has ambitious plans to grow its footprint on renewables in Southeast Asia. At its Los Alaminos plant, energy from the sun is stored in a battery system for reliable, uninterrupted distribution to the national grid. Meanwhile, developments in battery-equipped microgrids empower whole communities. So my firm belief is the microgrid is going to be the next generation portion of what is now called decentralized energy resources, which is a very important part to accelerate the net zero movement. As developments on renewables race ahead, some countries may not have all the right conditions to generate them at scale. Enter interconnected grids. This kind of a large interconnection opens up the possibility for countries to export the excess to neighbouring countries. The race is on to tackle climate change, and you could say it's the race of our lives, and we've got a chance to win it, but we could equally lose it. Climate Trailblazers, an energy revolution. Watch it on demand on CNA. This program is produced in partnership with Tomasek's EcoSperity platform.